This is question 20. Here we're given that 8 minus root 18 divided by root 2 is equal to a plus b root 2, where a and b are integers. Find the value of a and the value of b. So when we are given a third where the where it's a fraction and the bottom part of that fraction is a third, what generally speaking these questions are asking us to do is to rationalize the denominator to get rid of the square root on the bottom of the fraction and that's what we are going to need to do here in order to write this quantity 8 minus root 18 divided by root 2 in this format here so let's start doing that let's rationalize the denominator now when we are rationalizing the denominator all that that means is it means that we want to get rid of the square root on the bottom of the fraction. Now to do that, I have to multiply by whatever that square root on the bottom of the fraction is, in this case square root 2, I multiply by square root 2 over square root 2. If it was square root 5 on the bottom, it would be square root 5 over square root 5. Now the reason that I do that is because essentially what I'm multiplying by is I'm multiplying by 1. So I'm not changing the value of this quantity, but when I do this, it will change the way that the, the number on the bottom of the fraction, uh, how that looks. And we'll see when we work this out. So what I can say is, let's write this out. So 8 minus root 18 multiplied by root 2. So I'm just going to write that as root 2 multiplied by 8 minus root 18. And that is divided by root 2 multiplied by root 2. So root 2 multiplied by root 2 will give me root 4, or I can just write that as 2. So I have I've succeeded in what I was trying to do. I've got rid of the square root on the bottom. So this quantity that I've now got here, root 2 multiplied by 8 minus root 18 over 2, is exactly the same as what I started with. It just looks different. So let's carry on. Let's simplify this by expanding the bracket. This is going to give me root 2 multiplied by 8, which I can write as 8 root 2, minus root 2 multiplied by root 18. Now that's going to give me root 36. And that's still divided by 2. Now let's take this again, and, and what I can see here, or hopefully what you spotted as well, is that actually I can rewrite root 36. I could rewrite root 36 as just 6. So now I've got 8 root 2 minus 6 divided by 2. I can tidy this up further because I've got two quantities, 8 root 2 and 6, which can be divided by 2. So what I can now say is that this is equal to... Uh, 4 root 2, so just dividing 8 root 2 by 2, minus 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So I have, uh, I've rationalized the denominator, and I've simplified it, and I'm left with 4 root 2 minus 3. Now I'm asked to sh write this in the form a plus b root 2. So this is nearly there, I just need to swap over this minus 3 and put it in the front. So this is, I can say, is minus 3 plus 4 root 2. So minus 3 plus 4 root 2. So what are, what are the values of A and B? Well, A, that's the number in front. A is equal to minus 3. And then B is equal to 4. So final answer, a is equal to minus 3 and b is equal to 4.